Good morning, everybody. It's me, Marcia. And today I want to share a little bit about the foundation Young, Young Living has. They have powder and they have liquid. I just recently received my liquid. Uh, but the powder is what I'm going to talk to you about today. And there's different colors you can choose from. They have cool, cool one. Cool number two, cool number three, dark number one, dark number uh, two, and then warm number one, warm number two, warm number three, and dark number three and four. And uh, here's what they have a picture of, of those. Uh, dark number four, dark number three, uh, warm number, what is it? Warm number Three, two, one, and then the dark number two, dark number one, and then you have your cool number three, cool number two, and cool number one. Now, how do you know which one is right for you? It says, the foundation says, build luminous coverage with our non Condomgenic mineral foundation formulated for sensitive skin and a wide range of skin tones. The ultra fine mineral powder minimizes the look of imperfections, blemishes, and pores for a gorgeous airbrushed look for everything from sheer casual looks to full coverage. Depends on what you like. And how do you use it, it says. Okay. Neutralize any imperfections and even your skin tone with a no-fuss application. Make sure to prep your skin with Art Renewal Serum. Let me show you what that looks like. I believe I have that. I might have it in my bucket. I'm going to have to lower you down just for a second. Because I had it propped up on my knee. <laughs> so let me lower this down here. And we'll see if I can find that. Nope. It must be at the other house. I'm so sorry. But it comes in a red bottle. About four ounces I believe is in it. Lay you back down here so I have my hands free to, to move and talk. Anyway, <clears throat> you want to, it says, make sure you prep your skin with the Art Renewal Serum. And then follow by Art Light um, Moisturizer. Then sprinkle a bit of the foundation into your jar lid so you don't uh, waste it. Swirl your foundation brush to collect the powder. And tap lightly to dust off any excess that, so you don't get all bunched in one spot. And then it's like, ugh. Apply directly to your skin and using a circular motion, blend it in. And repeat as necessary to cover the, the to build your coverage how dark you want it or how smooth you want it. Make sure to extend the coverage all the way uh, out to the ears. And to the underside of the jaw to for a thorough finish. Um, you to match up perfectly what oil, what oil, what foundation powder your body would need to look properly. Um, where it don't look like you have a mask on. Well, nowadays you need a mask. Oh, not that kind of mask. Well, I guess you can say I got my mask on. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Swallow my saliva wrong. Okay, your perfect match. Getting the coverage you want works only if the foundation shade is right for your skin tone. With a few simple tips, foundation match color match is simple. Okay, one. Uh, find your undertone. Find the the category where the traits match yours. To find your undertone. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, there's cool, warm, and, and neutral. Which one are you? 
which one am I? For the cool, it says blue or violet ting uh, tinged veins. When you look at your blood veins, are they blue or violet? Uh, look best, it, your body would look best in white, blue, black, and green clothing. Um, prefer and look best in, in silver jewelry. So this is going to help you when you go out on a night in the town, when you go out for a date. Or just go out to, to, to look good. Um, so if you're warm, that means your, your blood veins green or olive tinged veins. I have no idea what mine are. What do they look like? Do they look like they're blue or violet or green or olive? They're not very dark. Got a lot of old age marks. <laughs> and there's supposed to be things to cover that up too, but that's another video. Now neutral, if you're neutral color, it says your veins are bluish green tint. Neutral. Uh, my bluish green. Can't really tell. Let me look this side. The blood veins. What are they? Look like blue, violet, green, or olive, or bluish green. Anyway, if it's bluish green, then you can wear a wide range of colors. Prefer look uh, equally good in silver or gold. <clears throat> I hope that helps someone, you know. If you find out what color your veins are, you know what color clothing to wear that looks good for, they recommend for you. And the kind of jewelry, gold or silver. Hope that helped at least one person. And if you can tell me your opinion on what color my blood is through my veins, I'd appreciate it. Because I have a hard time trying to figure out, am I blue, violet, green, olive, or blue or green? Because, see, let me turn this way can't hardly tell this don't give the lighting on here don't give much justice <clears throat> can you see those veins give me what color you think that is joanne if you're watching you tell me amber tanya emma one of you what color does that look like to you please tell me okay step number two Find your shade. Each tone of Savvy Minerals by Young Living Foundation comes in the various shades. Number one, uh, use the lightest in the in your in your range, and then get progressively darker using your undertone. Select the shade closest to your skin. Step number three, the perfect match. Make sure that your foundation. The right shade for generously applying your your foundation to your lower cheek around your jawline so that it blends in perfectly. Savvy Minerals by Young Living Foundation shades the, in dark number 1 through 4 are neutral tones. You can create a natural shade as unique as you are by combining shades. So, that's the different the difference about the perfect look for your makeup foundation anyway. Cool, warm, or neutral. Which one are you? I I'd like to know. Um if I can find samples of these foundations that I can hand out to people, can you tell me what yours is if I say if I can find them. I'm looking. I haven't figured out where they're at yet, but if I can find foundation samples that I can hand out and you tell me what kind you are, I'll give you a sample to try. But don't don't uh, start asking for it until I know for sure I can find it and then I have to buy it. Then I can hand it to you and you can try it and then if you like it, you can buy some. You can see how good it feels on your skin, how, you know, even the sensitive skin people can wear this because there's there's no... It's not, it's all natural. It's really good for the skin. So, I guess the foundation uh, is all I'm going to talk about today. 
and tomorrow we'll go on to another subject. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Ta-ta.